Right. Of the 16 CSOs that patrol the Burnage Council Estate, seven are female. 28-year-old Josie Baines from neighbouring Longsight joined 18 months ago after failing her final exam to become a driving instructor. Her partner in crime prevention, 35-year-old Trevor Harris, has been working with her since February 2007. Hi right, girls, how are you doing? You right? He decided to become a CSO after moving up from London, where he lost his job as a care assistant at a retirement home for the elderly. Thank you. I'd like to move on, thank you. When I'm relaxing in my bed seat, I like to imagine myself as a sort of evil bastard that would strangle your granny with a washing line, disembowel her and eat her kidneys, all for the loose change in her purse. I mean, to understand the criminal, you really do have to think like them. Mm, yeah, well, I'm walking down the road, I try and think like the psycho mentalist Nataru. Take a trolley out Tesco and not return it. Yeah, weirdos. The world's full of them. Harris 4130, missing wheelie bin, Sanford Crescent. Yeah, Harris 4130, received. Missing wheelie bin, Sanford Crescent, on our way. But it's not just wheelie bin crime that keeps the community support officers busy in Burnage. The regular police appreciate the CSO's role in cracking other forms of street crime. Most of his real coppers feel indebted to the CSOs, in particular when it comes to enforcing the dog failing laws. If it wasn't for those guys, it'd be us cleaning the dog off the streets. Did you see that? I saw it, yeah. He's just let his dog defecate on a public walkway. What we're dealing with here is a total lack of respect for the law. Oi, bush. On the phone, mate. That's an offence, that is. You what? Talking on a mobile? I'm not driving, not bad. That is an offence, allowing your dog to park its breakfast on a public walkway. Yeah, now, sort it out or I'll take back. action. I've got to sort this geezer out. Yeah, what, what, what action's that, sorry, mate? They'll be taken as evidence. I could make a case out of that, you know. <laughs> mate, what the f do you want out of it? He's finished with it. So have I. So, good luck, mate, yeah? It's all yours. It's all yours. Bloody comedian. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> Expect the unexpected. That's what they told us on the training course, Vince. Yes, they did. And justice will prevail, they also told us. I know where that little <laughs> lives. Come on. Dog farm is not just unsightly, it's a health hazard. People get dog <laughs> in their eyes, they can go blind. I knew there is a school of thought that says the gift of sight might be wasted on people who go around putting dog <laughs> in their eyes. Post! Special delivery! What's interesting about Vince, what I'm picking up on, is his unorthodox approach. It's not a textbook, but it's very effective. It reminds me a bit of uh, Harry Callahan, you know, Dirty Harry in the Clint Eastwood movie. I think he'd have acted like Vince if someone had left a dog turd on a New York sidewalk. <laughs> 